Yeah, that's right, Aubrey. You see, these women that are on the other side of this story say they do not want you to be afraid to help an animal in need, even though they had a very bad experience. Isn't this bizarre? Carla Mall says she's still stunned that helping a dog in need turned into such an ordeal. Flashback to Friday. And I saw this old dog in bad shape that was tied up on the 4500 block to a doorknob, had no hair on it, looked very emancipated, like it hadn't eaten in a long time, and there was a lady standing out there. That lady, Daniela Druyette. She's accused of stealing the dog. She's the one that took the dog off the roof. She saw the dog was in distress. She took the dog, and then she called the SPCA. Come on, babies. But Mall, who lives with a pack of rescue dogs of her own, says the organization stays busy, so she volunteered to take the pup to the vet. I had on a gray sweater, and it was black by the time I'd picked her up because there were so many fleas that was jumping off. So my vet said it was the worst case he had ever seen in his entire career. Want your food? What she didn't know is that the dog's owner had called the cops. Mall says NOPD called her the next week telling her to turn the dog over or go to jail. They also arrested Druyette for taking the dog. Several neighbors told us they frequently see dogs on that Lion Street roof. I've never seen a dog nor a person there. Lauren Dorman isn't one of them. She is, however, an animal lover. You know, if you see a child hurt in a yard either, too, you you don't just leave that, isn't that <laughs> civic duty? You should be able to help. I don't think you should take him. That sh I guess that's the fine line. Now we did try and contact that dog's owner for about two days, but we were not able to get a hold of them. Meanwhile, we can tell you that Druyette is out of jail on bond. She tells us no good deed goes unpunished. Tammy Eswick, WDSU News.